Hi, it's Graham here from Paxup, and today I'm going to take you through some of the new features in version 18, and particularly around the themes. So within your uh, Paxup platform, you can define different themings. So again, if you are a, a service provider and you're having multiple customers use your Paxup deployment, you may want to theme it. And also, if you're an organization, uh, you may want to theme sales, marketing, accounting, different teams may have different themes. So this is all possible and all built into the product. So here we have uh, on the screen is all the requirements today for the themes, uh, where you can re-record the audio format and here are all the messages that are used, uh, but also then the images. So if someone's joined by phone, uh, if the conference is locked, and all these images are built into the product. And today you can download this theme package and customize it yourself. So they're 1080p images, um, JPEGs, and you can put whatever you want there. Um, different messages, maybe to call a help desk, etc. Um, but now in version 18, we have uh, dramatically increased and improved the features of the theming. So let's just show you a version one theme. So I've got my video client here. I'll enter my version one theme. And we see the clouds and, and you're asked to put in your pin number. And you can see all those icons here and the pin number screens, they're all individual JPEGs. Um, so you have to create, if you had a 20 digit pin, 20 JPEGs. So uh, it would take a long time to theme it. So we've actually built a theming the engine. We'll turn that off now. So we've built a new theming engine into version 18. So we just jump into the version 18 platform and we can go to themes. And we can see now down here we have download base theme and download legacy theme. These might change as we get to the final product. But base theme is what we have now in version 18. And anything 17 and prior would be the legacy base theme is what we describe. And they contain all the files uh, required. So one of the new things um, within the platform, so we've got our doc site now published, uh, people can see this live. Um, we can now see the default theme. Um, and we're actually controlling the theme with the JSON config. Um, so those who, who aren't technical and uh, won't understand too much, we provide a basic sample there. Um, but we'll also have a new branding portal which will also help with this. Um, but I'm going to just give you a very quick flavour of what you can do. Um, so today, now what we have, instead of doing all the multiple files, we are able to do it with just two files. Um, we have obviously the audio, it's all there. And we basically have now the background image and we have the background image for the test call. So these are the two JPEGs you can use. You can use individual ones if you want, if you want to go crazy on theming, you can do that. But you can now simply do it uh, within the uh, product, just using one, one uh, JPEG, remember 1080p image, because it could be in a big conference room, on a big screen, etc. Um, and here again, it's all controlled by uh, this theming config now. Um, so we instead of the welcome message, we can change that. So let's go ahead and uh, theme up our um, theming. And um, here we are. We've got my theme here. We, we're going to use. Uh, and um, here is our theming file. So. Now, I've, I've expanded this and added a few extra to it. Um, so this is where each meeting room can be controlled differently. So, lock conference, uh, guest mute, etc. That can all be individual uh, per virtual meeting room. Um, and again, all the colors can be controlled with the um, hex uh, value. So it's all nice and easy. So what we can do is now pick and choose which files or which what we want to apply this theme to. Um, so let's see, for example, we can change the names for welcome. So instead of saying welcome, welcome to my meeting. And then please enter your 
secure pin. And you, know, you could even do that to let people know it's a four-digit pin. Um, what else can we change? And then if we look at the... Um, where are we? Pin correct? Welcome to your conference. So this can all be now changed nice and easily. Uh, you know, what about here? The other participants are on audio, audio only. You know, if you're going to be a um, a video first uh, environment, maybe you could say the other uh, participants did not turn on their camera. <laughs> You know, you can change these messages how you want, um, so people know that uh, they're there. Um, waiting for host, um, so you could say waiting for, you know, <laughs> whatever you want to put in here. So um, you can comment ID invalid. You can, you know, do please retry. So again, very very simple to come in and do this. And again, you can change the colors of everything else if you want to. I'm just going to keep that here. The key thing now is thing version number two. Number uh, one would be the legacy default uh, prior to version 17, but now in version 18, uh, it's version two. Uh, again, if you uh, have conference locked, um, open to the world, you can change whatever you want. Um, so again, when the conference is locked, when it slides out on the left hand, uh, right hand side, sorry. Uh, into secure mode. You, you can change it whatever you want from, from the default if you want. So we'll save that. And now let's get a an image. So I'm going to uh, pick this background image. Uh, it's from the weekend. And I'll just replace that. Uh, so this is a background. So it's a 1080p image. And it's a picture of the Formula 1 at the weekend. And I've just made it slightly darker so the white will come through nicely on there. And if you want to change the test call as well, so let's just uh, make the test call the same as well, so it's consistent across it. And uh, move that to trash. We'll duplicate that. And obviously just make that called background test call. So now what we have to do is zip these up. And now we apply it to our platform. So let's do add theme. So, We'll do uh, default v2 thing. We choose our file and uh, my theme archive. So I've got my zip file here, and I want to apply it to demo theme two, and I also want to apply it to the test call server. So I've just selected which ones I want to apply it to, and there we go. So now we have. Uh, the two themes available. So now, if I go to my virtual meter rooms, I will see. Obviously, I have uh, theme one using those credentials, and then I now have theme two using the new V2 theme. And again, I'll kind of a host and guest pin, etc. Setup. So now I go back to my product, uh, my video client, and now I can dial into the theme. Let's see if it's ready. So no, it's still got the old one. So that's So again, when you place any uh, updates on the Pexel platform, it requires a minute to synchronize and uh, replicate those changes. So we'll just try again. Here we go. Waiting for the conference host to join. If you are the conference host, please enter the conference pin number now. So there we have the new uh, icons. We've got the new text that I've put in the text file. So this is all here. And now if I go and enter my passcode, you can now see this is all set up. Welcome to the conference. So the default, you know, I've changed that now to welcome to my meeting. And when I do things like uh, star seven, enter the secure mode. So again, you can change this the only participant in the conference. very, very easily. So that's a quick overview on the new theming and in version 18. So there's lots more to come around the themes. So this is just the personal theming uh, per virtual meeting room, per gateway rule, or test call. And just uh, let's just do a test call to show you what that looks like as well. 
So again, you can put additional messaging on here for maybe call a help desk. Um, there we go. Let's test your video and audio. Count out loud from one to three. So we won't do that, um, but to give you an idea, that's what's possible now uh, on there to do that. So very, very simple uh, to do your theming now in version 18, and we're gonna make it even simpler. And remember, it's all included within the Vexa platform. Thanks very much.